top 15 carnivorous plants that can eat animals. Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Have you ever heard about plant carnivory? This refers to some plant's ability to capture and eat animals and other tiny creatures. While these plants do create their food through photosynthesis, they supplement their protein intake by catching and later digesting insects and small animals. On the other hand, these plants do not consume or devour flesh or meat. As a result, they're not harmful to humans. Number 15. Attenborough's Pitcher Plant – Nepenthes attenboroughi Number 15 on our list is Attenborough's Pitcher Plant. Only the slopes and peaks of Mount Victoria and Central Palo in Philippines are home to this plant. The Attenborough's Pitcher Plant, like all pitcher plants, has a funnel-like leaf shape where insects get trapped and finally digested. This plant is difficult to grow and is practically extinct due to its poor seed variety and dispersion, as well as the widespread collection of tourists. Moreover, this pitcher plant is named after David Attenborough, a well-known British natural history broadcaster. Number 14. Albany Pitcher Plant – Solophytus folliculus. Next one is the Albany Pitcher Plant. This plant, Solophytus folliculus, is a monotypic genus that was first found in southern Australia by French explorer Bruni de Entrecasteau. Furthermore, it is the sole member of the Solophytus cacae plant family. This low-growing plant has a fuzzy pitfall trap with two types of leaves, carnivorous and non-carnivorous pitcher leaves. Before developing its pitchers, this carnivorous plant normally grows its non-carnivorous leaves to generate energy for the plant. Cephalotus follicularis is a scientific name derived from the Greek word kalephalotus, which means headed, and the Latin word folliculus, which means small sac. These names refer to the stamen filaments and the pitcher shape of the plant, respectively. Number 13. Rafflesia Pitcher Plant Nepenthes rafflesiana Nepenthes rafflesiana? Both of these words sound familiar, don't they? Pitcher plants of this species can be found in the lowlands of Borneo, Malaysia, and Singapore. Unlike most pitcher plants, the Nepenthes species attracts a lot of insects. However, because its fluid is not viscous, it does not appear to specialize in degrading them. This Nepenthes species is exceedingly varied, with a wide range of sizes, colors, and shapes. Number 12. Roridula sp Occupying the 12th position on our list is the Roridula does. The Roridula does, unlike most carnivorous plants, do not develop enzymes that can digest the entrapped animal. Instead, it creates a resin that is far more powerful than the sundew's enzyme. To make use of its trapped prey, this plant forms a symbiotic relationship with assassin bugs, which may drain the captured insect's nutrition while the plant absorbs the nutrients. The term Rhydos and the Greek word gorgon mean dewy and awful, respectively. Number 11. Jungle Lantern – Catopsis berteroniana 11th on our list of carnivorous plants is the jungle lanterns. These carnivorous plants are only found in Central America and Southern Brazil. The jungle lantern plant is a bromelade that is known for its brilliant yellow flowers. This plant is also coated in a powdered wax that adds to its brightness. As a result, it is also known as the yellow strap plant. This plant with the same name gets its name from the Greek word katopsis, which means view. It truly does present a wonderful view, particularly when seen from its position in the treetops. This plant traps insects in an urn-like structure that contains digestive secretions that disintegrate the insects. However, if this plant is a real carnivore, it's still a point of contention among experts. Number 10. Water Wheel Plant Number 10 on our list is the Water Wheel Plant. Like the Venus flytrap, the Water Wheel Plant is a rootless, free-floating aquatic plant. This plant, like the flytrap, uses thin, sensitive hairs to act as a snapping trap, but only underwater. The single whorl of leaves on this plant is formed like a wheel, hence the name. This plant's genus name was obtained from its discoverer, Ulisse Androvandi, an Italian. However, the plant's name was misspelled as Aldrovanda by the famous taxonomist who cataloged it. As a result, we now spell the name incorrectly. Number 9. Sundew, Drosera sp. The next carnivorous plant is the Sundew Drosera. The Sundew Drosera, often known as the master of sticky flypaper, is an animal trap with countless sticky hairs that captures its victim. The digestive enzymes produced by these hairs tend to destroy the trapped prey. The common name for this plant comes from the fact that its leaves sparkle in the sun like dew. This plant grows at a slower rate than the Venus flytrap. Number 8. Cobra Lily Occupying 8th position on our list is the Cobra Lily. The Cobra Lily is a carnivorous plant that has evolved multiple methods to trap and consume animals. 
It is native to Northern California and Southern Oregon. This plant, sometimes known as the California pitcher plant, uses nectar on its downward facing opening to entice animals into its pitcher-like leaf. Its common name comes from the shape of its pitcher, which resembles a cobra. Number 7. Dewey Pine Next on our list of the carnivorous plants is the Dewey Pine. The Dewey Pine Drosophyllum lusitanicum is the next plant on our list, and it's native to Portugal, Spain, and Morocco. These plants interestingly attack prey by producing honey, and when they thrive in the wild, they seem black. These plants acquire a lot of water when they're young, but as they get older, they require less. Number 6. Heliumphora Number 6 is the Heliumphora. This is a carnivorous plant with rolled leaves and fused axes that create the tubular trap's body. It is found in both low and high altitudes. According to studies, this plant isn't very excellent at trapping insects, which is probably based on the average amount of animals captured at the bottom of its leaves. Because this plant is usually found in marshy areas, its name is derived from the same word which means marsh pitcher. Number 5. Butterworts The butterwort pingacola is a tiny herbaceous plant that is native to North America, Siberia, and Central and South America. Its flowers are pollinated by hummingbirds. Pingacola literally means little greasy one in Latin, referring to its oily texture when touched. These plants have short, sticky hair on their leaves that produce enzymes and acids that disintegrate and decompose their prey. Number 4. Bladderwort The bladderwort, Utricularia, is a free-floating annual plant with blooms and rigid branches but no roots. These plants are special in that they have bladders on their underwater leaves that may grab and disintegrate animals. Bladderworts flourish in acidic, shallow water most of the time. This plant has no nutritional value for plants or wildlife, although it can provide a habitat for tiny fish and insects. Number 3. North American Pitcher Plant Pitcher plant in North America, Saracenia is a carnivorous plant native to lakes of Texas, the East Coast, and Canada, hence its name. This type of pitcher plant, like the majority of plants on this list, feeds on animals without moving any of its body parts. It entices animals with its delicious aroma and honey, as well as its funnel-shaped leaves, which carry digestive enzymes to digest its prey. This plant has created a hood-like structure over its aperture to prevent rains from diluting these enzymes. Number 2. Tropical Pitcher Plant Nepenthes, a carnivorous pitcher plant native to tropical locations such as Southeast Asia and India, is another carnivorous pitcher plant. Because of its appealing aroma and appearance, animals and other tiny creatures are enticed to fall into the pitcher-like leaves at the bottom of the tramp, which contains digestive enzymes. The tropical pitcher plant is also known as monkey cups because of tropical monkeys' propensity to drink the liquid from the pitchers. Number 1. Venus Flytrap Last but not least, we have Venus flytrap on our list. The Venus flytrap, which is native to North and South Carolina, is both a classic and vicious carnivorous plant. Most of the time, these plants grow in nutrient-depleted soils and resort to carnivory to obtain more nutrients from animals. The stiff, sensitive hairs on the leaves of this carnivorous plant distinguish it from other plants. If these hairs are accidentally touched, the two lobes of the leaves will snap together, trapping whatever is inside. When the plant understands the thing isn't food, the leaves open and throw the trap out after 12 hours. Many of these plants are becoming extinct as a result of people's obsession with them. The Venus flytrap is a monotypic genus, which means it only has one species. So guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. Which of the plants did you find the most dangerous? Let us know in the comments section below. See you in our next video. Till then, take care.